Right. Uh, two Elgin. I should do the negotiation. Oh, and let me guess. I'm the one who will pay for all of this. To rebuild Elgin. Yes, I was prepared for that. The first time I saw the, ru the ruins. Right. Can probably... Don't stop right there. Don't even think about moving. You see my friends coming? They won't hesitate to kill you if you so much as breathe funny. Now, who are you and what is the meaning of this intrusion? Quickly now, speak. Easy now. Then you need to give me a reason why we shouldn't just kill you where you stand. Never heard of him. You are mistaken. There's nobody by that name here. Now, be on your way. We don't want to hurt you. There. How about this? Don't know him either. I'm beginning to run out of patience with you. Leave now. I don't know who you are, stranger, or what you want. But I advise you to choose your words very carefully from here on out. How about Let this? Me see that. Hmm. Did you say Marcus Janus from the war, Marcus Janus? Why didn't you say so? Well, I did. And now, grant me passage, please. Very well. I will take you inside, but all of us have our eyes on you. And if you start trouble, it will be the last trouble you ever stop. Amazing voice acting. Follow me. Great. Following. This person and why have you brought them here? He has an urgent message for you from Marcus Janus. He was alone and I thought you would want to talk to him. What? Marcus Janus? Falfring, have you gone completely mad? That's impossible. I thought the same thing, sir, but it's true. They showed me a letter to you with Marcus's seal. It's real, all right. And, sir? Somehow Marcus has found Sabrina's wedding ring and sent it to you. Very well. We'll see about this. Well, Frank, you are dismissed. All of you may resume your patrols. Yes, sir. I don't know who you are or why you're here, so you'd better have some good answers to my questions. Sure. Can I see that ring. You say you were sent by Marcus Janus? Where is he now? And do you know how he came into possession of this ring? Yes, yes, I suppose that may have been possible, but I, this is all so overwhelming. Thank you. I love them very deeply. You're definitely no bandit. They were murdered by those Altmeri dogs. I wanted nothing but vengeance. Every day of my life is burned with nothing but the desire to make them pay for their murders. But enough of that. Let, mm, yes. <laughs> Marcus Janus, and certainly you are right. What do you want with me? Tell me, how has he found me here? Very clever, that one. Always was. Bandits. <laughs> it's not far from the truth, though. Fitting ruse is that's about what we've become. Living our lives in the shadows, hiding and skulking about like some caged skeever looking for his next piece of Touche. Makes sense. Honor. Bah. Any honor I had died with the first Altmeri diplomat I assassinated. I'm not the same man he knew. But no doubt he's filled your head with tales of glory from the war. Stories of the keepers of Hatu. Well, I'm afraid that man no longer exists. This hatred. It's consumed me, taken my life. I suppose I would still be rotting down in that damn prison were it not for Marcus. Now I'm just rotting here instead. And rot is nonetheless still rot. The only difference, really, is where and how. Why would he want to help me? After he sees what I've become, he'll leave soon enough. But 
Go tell him I'll meet with him regardless. At least then we can say our proper goodbyes to one another. We never got to do that before. Now, be gone. Please leave me in peace. Sure. One thing I like about this quest is that once you have Tolkien, or once you have Tolkien, once you have did the talking, there's no turning back, so head to the objective. That's cool. All the information is given at the right time. I like that. Still, this place is in ruins. Alright. Let's go to Falkreef. Like many of Skyrim's woodland settlements, Falkreef's economy, economy is heavily reliant on the production of wood, lumber. Just my luck. Stuck in the sticks with this crazy old... Oh my god. An invasion of NPCs. Can I get you something? Well, the populated cities mod Shortest did the difference. This place has more life. Marcus Janos on an armor. Excellent. Well done, my friend. I'm ready to go. But there's just... I was hoping that it wouldn't be too much of a burden on you to escort me to the keep. There's another 250 gold in it for you, if you will. Sure. I'm right behind you, but don't go too fast. Unlike you young ones, I'm not cut out for this shite anymore. Shite. Shite. I see what you've done there. Very well made. <laughs> I'm not done for this shite. Right. Um, to Elgin. I hope that he is accompanying me. Are you accompanying me, mate? There you go, Marcus Janus. Let's go. If there aren't Falmor here, this is the time where I'll kill them. Nope, no Falmor. Right. Let's bring the friend to the war hero. Valerius Tiberius Arcturia, you old dog. Come here, my friend, let us have a look at you. Marcus, why have you come here? Valerius, I'm sure this is quite a shock to you, and terribly unexpected. I came here to check on my family, but it appears none of them survived. Then I realized you were here, so I decided it was in both our interests for two old friends to meet again, at last. Ah, your brother, yes. Marcus, I'm very sorry, but whatever the circumstances, it does my eyes good to see you again after all these years. Yes, same here, old friend, same here. So, the Keepers of Hatu in Skyrim. Who would have ever dreamed of such a time? All right, Janice, what is it you really want? Don't forget, I know you, so out with it. Yes, you do know me, old friend, better than most. Very well. I aim to rebuild this town and make her my home. Rebuild? Janice, I have no intention of helping you or anyone else rebuild a town. I'm here on... Other business. Yes, yes, I know, Valerius, but if what I propose is true, perhaps we can be mutually beneficial to one another. All I'm asking is that you hear me out. After that, if we're not in agreement, we can part ways and you'll likely never see me again. But Valerius, there's plenty of time to get to all that later. Right now, let's just catch up on old times. Well, you're in luck, Janice. Those bandits left some fresh wine downstairs. I need a drink. Yes, I could use a drink too, old friend. Let me say goodbye to my new friend and I'll join you. I can't thank you enough for your help. As agreed, here is your compensation. I apologize for that. I certainly wasn't intentionally keeping anything from you. Do you, un do you need my financial help? But yes, I want to make Helgen my home. But she certainly has seen better days, that's for sure. You know, I grew up just across the border in Cyrodiil. And Helgen was always a place my family visited when I was a boy. I have many fond memories of those days. And now, with my brother and his family gone, let's just say he'd be happy that I settled here. And from what I can tell as we came in, it'll be a lot of work cleaning everything up. But nothing impossible. 
Then we can take a look at what's left of these buildings and begin rebuilding from there. I'm sure there'll be plenty of work for you if you're interested. Sure. Why don't you take a day and think about it? That'll give Valerius and I some time to catch up and come up with a plan. Can you return to see us in a day or so? Sure. Thank you once again, friend. I now then, Marcus, let's go get that wine. Help. You're in one piece, so I trust your trip went smoothly. Yes, fortunately it was without incident. Of course, I had Patsy to protect me. <laughs> ah, yes, dear Patsy. Uh, there's not a more loyal man in all of Tamriel. Uh, please, the road was kind to me. How long has it been now, Val? Nearly 20 years? <laughs> it's been too long. So, you still running that trading outfit out of Coral? No, not anymore. At least, now, that is. Business was slow. It seems... Cyrodiil just can't get back on its feet, Valerius. Yes, I've heard the same thing about Hammerfell. Interesting. Really Sideline story. Desperate times, indeed. Yes. But it will get better, Valerius, for both of us. Amriel can't stay at war forever. Marcus Janus, remember <laughs> the eternal optimist. Gods, how I remember that used to get on my nerves. Well, we surely wouldn't want that, would we? Now then, pass that wine and let's show our toast. Then we can get down to business. Sure. Now I'll do the... Wait 24 hours! Waiting! I'm a vampire. I barely need to sleep. Give us a day or so and we'll discuss business. Sure, I'm giving you a 24-hour wait time. Wait, actually. Now let's see how much of my pockets will you need. I'm the one who will finance, finance all of this. Hey. Alright. Hope that this did not bug out. I cannot speak with him. There's a dragon. Right, how will I... God damn it, how do I go? Oh, I see. Not through here, but through here. Hey. Ah, yes, we've been waiting for you. Now that you're here, we have a matter of grave importance to discuss with you. Really? Tell me, what is your plans? I really think this nonsensical plan of yours will work, but... Janice, it has to work. We have no choice. Now then. Reporting as ordered, sir. Reporting for good. duty. That armor looks good on you, too. <laughs> well, it itches. And it stinks. It's had a dead man in it. What do you expect? So, now that we're all here... Valerius, would you like to fill in our friend on your plan? Please do. Did you ever stop to wonder how my men and I came to this place? Well, yes, but that's not all of it. Up until a couple of weeks ago, we were still in Cyrodiil, and our sources began reporting on new Thalmor activity taking place south of here. Rumor was that they were turning an old fort into a prison for captured Talos worshippers. And I deemed the reports credible enough to investigate. I sent my best man, Korst, on the mission. He was ordered not to confront them, but to observe only. Unfortunately, he did not return, and I'm afraid something went very wrong. About two weeks. After one week went by, we'd started to fear the worst, so we mobilized. That's the kind of mission here. I am. Finding Korst is the main reason we're here. This fort Suited gave us the to perfect do. spot to rest, resupply, and it's my speciality. To find out what Assassination. So, we eliminated the bandits, took over the fort, tried to blend in and not draw attention to ourselves. Yes. Fortunately, the Imperials left everything behind when they abandoned this place. It looks like Elenwen herself was here. Who is Elenwen? 
I need you to pose as an Imperial officer with orders to transfer Korst back to Ellenwen for interrogation. Legion prisoner transfer parties always travel in groups of three, so Falco and Sienna will be going with you. As you can see, they're already in Imperial uniform. You must do the same if this has any chance of working. We found some officer's armor that should fit you, and Alton put a little enchantment on it for you. It's only worn by high-ranking officers, so it should help you carry a bit more influence. If you have any other powers of persuasion, this would be the time to use them. Perhaps between the two, it will be enough for this to work. While searching the fort, we found a communique from her own hand, and were able to forge a transfer order to give to the men at the prison. If the Thalmor officers question you, remind them, you're a special envoy from the Embassy, and they had best comply. Hopefully it'll be enough, but if not, you may have to resort to the old-fashioned way of negotiating. Hmm. <laughs> yes, it certainly will be. And make no mistake, those Thalmor... And I've heard there's a particularly ruthless justicier named Arendelle who may be in charge there. If it's the Arendelle I know, you can be certain he will kill you on sight, so you must be careful. Thank you, friend. You know, Marcus seems to be quite impressed with you. Well, if he trusts you, then I trust you. The prison is located south of here, on the road past Fort Newgrad, heading to the Cyrodiil border. Here, I'll mark it on your map. Here's your armor. Don't forget to put it on. Please, return as soon as you can, and good luck. <laughs>